Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a couple of random things. I have a small installation to do, as well as in previous videos, maybe one of my first or second vlogs, I had talked about how I have an obsession with Disney and Honda combined, and there was a couple of pins for the dash mat that I was trying to find in order to finish my collection. So I ended up getting those two pins in the meantime, as well as I found a vintage Honda pin. I'm not sure if it's a dealership pin or exactly where it came from, but it's really tiny and super cute and I'm excited to have it in the collection. As well as I picked up a couple of other things, some brand new, some vintage, and a little install as well. So let's go ahead and show some of the things that I've gotten and then we'll take it all out to the car and put it on the dash mat and do our small installation. So let's jump into showing you what it is that I got. So let's start off showing you the pins that I got for the dash mat to help finish off our pin collection on it for the Type R. So this is the vintage pin that I found, or I believe it's vintage. That's this pin right here. It's super tiny. It looks like the old Honda signs from back in the day. Totally excited about that one. And then this is the Disneyland pin that I was talking about in one of my previous uh, vlogs. So this one is it says Disneyland on it and then it says Honda Power of Dreams down here in the uh, bottom corner. And so I just absolutely love this one. I can't wait to see this one in the car as well. Then next we have the Disney Expo pin that's also with Honda on it. And this is actually a little lenticular pin. It'll change like that. So I really love this one. I like that it's red. I think it'll look really good in the car as well. And then moving on, I ordered from a Honda dealership and got the Type R drink canteen. Uh, thermos. I'm super excited about this one as well. I haven't used it yet, but my daughter actually has a track day this weekend, so I will probably be taking some hot tea in it to the track. We'll test this guy out and see how it does if it keeps my tea nice and hot. This one I actually got on eBay. I found this one. It's kind of an old school um, cup from like travel mug, travel cup from Honda. This one literally says on it, um, it's got the Honda logo on one side and it says Honda Dream a Garage Spring Event on the other side. It's a really big cup actually. I was really excited to get this one for those summer drinks. Just thought it was so cool that it was the Honda Cup and of course in the classic Honda Blue. And on the other side here you can see it's got the Honda Dream Garage. It's got like the Honda logo and then has that Honda Dream Garage. And last but not least, the installation that we're going to do is actually a spoon wide view mirror for the interior of the car. So that is this right here. I'm really excited about this one. So this will give the mirror a wider view. This is really simple, hardly an installation. We're just going to be alcohol wiping the stock mirror. And I apparently this one just presses over that one. The only thing I've heard about it is just to be careful pressing it or where you're pressing it down to get it to adhere because I guess they're pretty thin and they can easily break. So hopefully we don't have any issues with it breaking and we have a nice easy install. So let's go ahead, hop right into the uh, CTR. Let's get our pins put onto the dash mat and let's get our mirror installed and I'll show you guys the final results.
Okay, so just a few things worth mentioning. I had originally ordered the spoon mirror from Blackhawk Japan. I ordered the one that said it was for the FK8 and it did not fit. It ended up being too long. I'm not sure why that is. It had the little listing of names just like this and it said Civic FK8. So I'm not sure if maybe the Japanese models have a little bit wider mirror than the US spec models or maybe Canadian but it did not work. So I'm mentioning that so that if you go to order one, this is the actual part number you are going to need to fit this car. It is not the one that's on Blackhawk Japan's website. So just a heads up if you decide that you're ordering from overseas like I did, this one doesn't even claim that it fits um, the FK8 at all. It just says CRZ Insight Fit and then Civic FL1 but it does fit. I'll show you guys that right now. And then I'll also show you kind of the view of the mirror before versus once we hold it up, what it looks like after. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here is kind of a view of what the mirror looks like now, kind of how you can see the driver's seat in it at this point. And then if we go ahead and put up the other one, just one second. I'm just going to kind of hold it up for you guys to see. So make sure you test fit first. But if I hold up that same, there we go. So it kind of just fits like that directly over the other one. But let me see if I can adjust this exposure. Okay, so here it is with the wide mirror. That's the view of the driver's seat. If you take it off, that's the view of the driver's seat with the factory. Kind of put it back up in place for you to see again. There it is with the driver's seat now. So you can see how different that angle change is. See if there. Okay, so I've already went ahead and alcohol wiped the mirror. So now we're just going to go ahead and we are going to pull off the 3M adhesive strips that are on the back of this and go ahead and push the mirror back. Like I said, the only thing that I've really heard about this installation is to be really careful about pressing too hard and kind of only push down um, where the 3M strips are. So fingers crossed that this goes well. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, adhesive um, covers and we are going to give it a whirl. Kind of really needed a microfiber for this, but I'm just going to use my hoodie. So there's three adhesive strips in total. I'm just kind of trying to put just very slight pressure on the three spots that we know are there, which is the two sides and then the one dead in the center. I'm just being overly cautious here since obviously it's a very thin piece of glass and you could see how pushing the mirror in the place where there isn't any support would definitely cause it to crack, so. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go grab a microfiber really quick just to kind of put some universal pressure across the whole thing, and then we should be done. And just give it some even pressure now and just get off the fingerprints. And just make sure that it seems like it's pushed down enough. Okay, that should be that. So there that is, all installed. Looks really good. I'm super happy with that. It'll be interesting to drive and see what that new view looks like. I'll try to take out the car at some point and get some shots of it. I've 
So something else that I purchased that I wanted to show you guys on camera was I also got these Genuine Honda Skate Decks. I really love these. I saw these about two years ago. I really wanted them. I searched for them and I found that Evasive had them. So I went ahead and ordered them because Evasive is here in Southern California. I knew that they wouldn't take too, too long to come to me. And in fact, Evasive was so great. It was my first order with them. They literally shipped them the same day that I ordered them. So I had these in about two days, which was awesome. I really love them. Let me show you guys these up close. So they are mounted with skate deck wall mounts that you're able to buy on Amazon. And I think in fact, Evasive offers them as well when you're buying them. I just ended up getting a two pack off of Amazon. It allows you to mount them either vertically or horizontally. I just like the way that they looked this way because I'm trying to fill up kind of the long wall space of the garage from kind of the side of the type bar, as you can see. Uh, so that's why I have them mounted. They're about $15 if you're looking to get them. Otherwise, I am pretty sure Evasive also sold a set that you could add on. So if you wanted to do that, so this is the top one. I just really like these. I think that they're really neat, unique. I've just been trying to slowly fill up the um, garage with kind of like Honda things. I think it just looks really good as a decoration. I have them right next to the Type R sign that I made. If you haven't seen that video, go check out that video. I made this Type R sign for the garage um, over Christmas break. It's LED backlit. I need to run the wire up the other way, I think, and I'm gonna run it across the roof so it's not hanging like that. But I really love this. I get tons of compliments on this. It's got RGB LED behind it, so you can change it to any color you want. I just leave mine rotating on the rainbow color wheel. I really like the way that looks. I also have my extra license plate right underneath it. So I've been slowly trying to fill up this wall with Honda memorabilia and just new things. So if you want to check out how to make the sign yourself, I'll put a little pop up up here of that video so that you can go check that out. It was a really fun project, definitely worth doing. And so let's go ahead and close out this video. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was kind of a more simple video, but we did go ahead and get the pins put on the dash mat, trying to finish off my collection with that. I still have a little bit of space, so we'll see what else we can find. As well as, I ended up getting my personalized plate after 10 months, so shout out to California DMV for the ridiculous wait time. I now have the extra one right here on the wall, and I have the one on the back of the car. Um, we also did the spoon mirror, which that was obviously the easiest install I have ever done. Simply pull off some decals, some sticky tape, and put it onto the mirror. But I think it's a really nice upgrade. And for about $40, why not? So I can't wait to drive the car and see what the wide view mirror looks like. I've really enjoyed the wider Mugen mirrors that I got for the side mirrors on the CTR. So I'm actually excited about the spoon wide mirror for this rear view mirror. So with all that being said and done, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you to go out and do a mod on your own car or just even some regular maintenance. And I will see you guys in the next one.